All right, yes, it's time for us to discuss uh, <laughs> with our guest to find out how he has fueled his hustle. I have here with me, Osase Amada. So thanks for being here today. I like the hair. Is this, is this an identity? Are you the Wale Show in Kaofa time? <laughs> <laughs> saying, I've been, I've been my yeah, but since I could remember, so yeah. just, okay. just normal things. Um, like something you mentioned there, and I think I speak for everybody mm -hmm. in the world who has no talent whatsoever when it comes to drawing. How do you know? Like, what is it? When do you start knowing that, okay, I actually have this talent, you know, to sort of interpret whatever it is, I don't know, artistically? When did you know that you had that? Um, so for me, there's this common misconception that, oh, everybody has, um, if you're talented in art, you can draw. But um, right from when I was very little, I found out that I was really curious and I gravitated towards the arts. So I would look at roadside artists, I would get inspiration from them, cartoons, try and recreate the drawings on my sketch pad then. And it sort of took off from there. I can remember like having an art competition in 99 in Benin Museum. So since then, I just kept building on that. Wow, all the yeah. way 99. So when, because you, you, you talked there about how, you know, you were told that you were not going to make any money from this, which is a yeah. relief a lot of people. Yeah. Have. We'll come to that much later. Yeah. But so at what point did you decide, okay, I was still going to do this, uh, but I maybe would do it technically. What, what was that decision like? Okay, so that came about when I was in secondary school. So the last formal education I had in arts was when I was in GS3. So there were the comments that, ah, if you study arts, you are not going to make it in life, obviously. And these weren't even from my own parents. These were just like external factors. So I just thought, mm, what's the closest thing to art that I can do? And it happened to be architecture. So I, moving into the university, I studied architecture, BSc, master's, but I just knew that that wasn't what like, you wanted. deep down, because by the side, I was always drawing and doing the visual aspects. I was like, you know what, it's just uh, yeah. one life, do your thing. So I just went on. And so you leave school, and then you decide to drop it all and now focus on your, on your passion yeah. and on your dream. So how did that, how did that start? Mm, it was gradual. It was yeah. a gradual process. I won't say, oh, I just... Because leaving school, I worked full-time at an advertising agency. Okay. Um, it wasn't working out for me because I needed more time to create my own art. So I got on that gig, but it was part-time. I still wasn't happy with what I was doing because it wasn't... I, I was taking on projects that I wasn't really interested in. So I was like, you know what, let me just focus on what I feel is relevant to me and push out the work. So yeah. obviously I, <laughs> I stashed up like um, enough money before I could leave that job. So yeah. That was, that was really how it happened. I was always doing my thing by yeah. the side. So it got to a point where I was like, you know what? My thing has to be full-time now. Yeah. Yeah. So like you said, you, you had no formal sort of training at all. Yeah. The last time you had anything to do with, yeah. with arts class or yeah. fine arts, like we call yeah. it, so yeah. it was in GSS3. Yeah. So of course, I want to believe the Google app did help you. So at what point did yeah. you know that, okay, I needed to gain knowledge and the Google app was your go-to place? So... Like I said earlier, I, I didn't have like any physical mentor that I could go to. Yeah. So it was mostly me at home trying to like figure out things for myself. And Google is like, <laughs> Google literally is your friend. Just ask Google. So how to get random questions, how to get better at art, how to become successful in art, how to draw this, how to draw that. And from there you go to forums, you meet new people, you meet new artists, you get to exchange ideas. and just keep building on from there, keep doing your thing, keep building on, and with time you would... Yeah. Because yeah. I, I say this every week, I said this last week as well, people always tend to think, you know, what sort of questions am I going to put on, on the app if I need to find out something? So it's something as basic as that. Yeah, run, just throw random <laughs> questions at Google, man. Yeah. Just throw random questions out there. You would always get feedback. Then up, I mean, at first you might be lost, you might not know what to search for. I mean, it's fine to just search for random things, but... Later on, as you progress, you would narrow down your search options. You know, okay, this is what I'm interested in. Yeah. And you have, like, art friends. Um, and you begin to know, okay, this is what I need to learn or get better at to improve in this, my field. So yeah. you focus on that. How's the, how's the journey been? How long has, have you been out of school? How long have you been doing this for now? 
Um, so I finished school 2016, mm -hmm. and I have been doing it since then. But just full, just I started like full time beginning of last year. So that's when I started like doing the arts full time. Yeah. And how has it been? Because you said earlier that people said that it wasn't lucrative. Yeah. You know, were they right? Is this something? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then how, how has the journey been with being an artist? I mean, it's look. I, I can't speak for everybody. Obviously, yeah. everybody has. The truth is that everybody has their challenges. Like with every profession, there are people that are not so doing so well, and the people that are like really um, making ends meet off their living. So I don't think it's, it should be narrowed down to the arts, but for me, I can only speak for myself, it has been luc lucrative and worthwhile for me. Yeah. yeah. You, you did do something with regards, I think you, have a, you had an art exhibition, when was this? Yeah, that was January this year. How did you get really there already, gallery. seeing how, how short the time <laughs> you've been in the industry? Um, so, um, funny story on that. So I had been... I had been doing my own personal research. Obviously, I wanted to have like a solo exhibition. And I had been focusing on works on Benin art and culture. So that, that's where my focus had been of late. So the year before, when I thought I was ready to have the exhibition, I, I approached an artist who I felt at the time was doing work um, similar to the Benin culture. Shout out to um, Victor I Ehikameno. Mm -hmm. And I showed him what I had in mind that, oh, I, I'm looking to do an exhibition. How do I go about it? And he looked at the works and he gave me feedback. So long and short, it, it was more of, look, you're not ready. You need to go back and work on this. Year. And truly, when I went, he was really, he was right. So I went back, kept working, kept working. Then close to the end of the year, when I was about to go back to him with my um, progress, um, really Gallery reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in participating in the group exhibition. So I said yes. So I just submitted, the proposal I submitted to them was exactly what I had been working on for the past um, 300 days. And luckily for me, they picked me to be part of the exhibition. And Amazing. Yeah, very well, very well. Congratulations. Before going on very quickly, for any young person out there who's an artist, who's trying to, you know, set up themselves, what do you tell them to do with regards to Google and the app? You know, quick advice. I've <laughs> <laughs> said it before, but yeah. just go on Google. Just, yeah. oh, if you like making beats, how to make beats. If, if you want to be a cartoonist, how to make cartoons. Just how, to, be it, how to, how to, how to, how to, how to, how to, like, there's so many search options, so many, so many search options. Thank you very much, Asaze. I'm you, looking man. forward to your, I mean, I've seen your work online. It's pretty amazing, and Thank it's you great that much. you're here today. Good luck with everything you Thank you very much. To do. And remember, no matter what career or business path it is you're going to follow, Google is always there to help you fulfill your dreams. All right? Please share your tweets with us using the hashtag Fuel Your Hustle, and I'll see you next Sunday.